of failure were that accounting reports had not been independently tested at the time by the auditors. Ernest and Young were the main auditors during the time and were found to be involved in the false reportings. Managers were also asked by partners to change annual and quarterly financial reports to accommodate for inflated earnings. We were unable to identify that Sendit and CUC International were overstating their false profits coming to a total of over $500 million, which attracted companies such as HFS to merge with CUC in 1997. Management and the board of directors did not act responsibly and did not act in the best interest of their corporation. By failing to uphold ethical values since they falsified company books and failed to implement a system of control, Management also failed to act in the interest of their shareholders when Forbes was charged, investors lost around $19 billion. Three features have to be present in order for fraud to occur. Pressure, opportunity and rationalisation. Pressure was created by Wall Street in order to meet expectations. Opportunity to commit fraud was when senior management forced mid-level employees to fabricate entries and rationalisation through increasing CUC earnings to improve their risk analysis of their financial statements. For example, comparing the results of Sendit to the industry to see if the company may be writing off their old accounts or accelerating revenue recognition. Also, proper sets of checks and balances to monitor the preparation of their statements. Internal management. Auditors could have recognised managers taking on more responsibility due to the pressure of improving profits after the merger and recognised their intentions due to the economic environment. Also, alter management style in a way where lower managers are not put under pressure to falsify reports.